Yo, I got a shout out Dosa D, uh, man, because it was actually the first time I went live on YouTube. And, uh, you know, guys don't know Dosa D, uh, he put out a lot of good content for the Detroit Lions. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, baby, we are going to be reacting to an NFC North 2020 division preview and record predictions by our guy, BLV, okay? Bottom line view. Now, I kind of know what he's going to say here. We're just looking at the Lions part. He did a full one. I guess it was a live stream. I didn't even realize it was a live stream until I skipped to the Lions section. Uh, one, I don't want to react to the whole thing because honestly, it's an hour long. It's a long time to react. And two, I don't want to take his whole video. So we may skip through a little bit as well. But he messaged me on Instagram. A couple of you guys have actually told me to react to this too. He messaged me on Instagram. We've talked. We're trying to, we want to get a collab together at some point. Um, but he messaged me. He's like, hey, you should check this out. I shouted you out, which is awesome. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure you know, I know what he picks here, who he picks and what he picks us to do. I don't know the record and everything detailed. I won't say it, but that way you guys can watch it with me. Um, but let me just say, huge shout out to this man, all right? Huge shout out to Bottom Line View, man. He's out here putting in work, very knowledgeable. You know, he's not the mainstream. He's out here doing his thing, man. He's killing the game. He's killing the game. I love watching his stuff, okay? I can watch his long list all the time. It's super knowledgeable. You get to hear about tons of different players. And he's focusing on all these teams. So to have all this knowledge about every team is really impressive okay very impressive and uh i haven't seen this yet but i can already tell you right now he's gonna say some good things so let's just hop right into this thing man let's hear what he predicts for the detroit lions i have not seen any of this so i'm excited let's go baby okay you haven't already subscribed to okay, the bottom make sure line the volume's all the way up. for more nfl vids okay just like let's go this yes let's do it all right let's get to the lions okay he's uh, i'm either glitching, so, or he's glitching all right we're good the look detroit the that's lions. clean dog look at that oh here we go you see it? The Detroit Lions. Y'all see that division rank first? Going baby? to finish first. You heard it here first. Tenth offense, Record 19 this defense. Okay. On your phone. Take a picture of this video. All right. Whoa, take a picture, y'all. Come on, man. The Detroit Lions are going to win the NFC North in 2020. Tell them, Tell them baby. The Detroit Lions are going to go about. to the playoffs. Yup. And then what? And the Detroit Lions then will be the best team in this division. Let's go, The baby. Detroit Lions have the best offense in this division. Yup. The best secondary in this division. Yup. And the best, in my opinion. Say quarterback. I think mix of. Don't say quarterback. They You'll need make... to do it right now. Their oh, backs okay. are against okay. the wall. And they need right. to You're perform. Right. They do need to. Yeah. 100%. And they also have a lot of guys that are very highly motivated right now. Absolutely. Those are external things yes. that you don't see on paper. Yes, yes. But that's the case. Yes, I love so it. So let's get to, I can't really say it without getting to their offense, their defense. Okay. I made a video way back. I mean, this was in February or March. Yep, I remember okay? that. Let's actually get to some of the about. points I had in that video. He talking about the same so let's start now? with that, okay? So one of the points I had... In that Lions video that I made way back, way back, okay. was I made the case that the Lions were extremely unlucky a year ago, yep, and that very. is almost unrepeatable in 2020. Yep. Now, He's one of the, the cases I made on, for this 3-12-1 and one team was this. Let's start with this. So, let's take a look at the games that they played with Matthew Stafford. Let's do it. Let, I already love the this 2019 video. See, he Lions, knows. Not the 2020 on, Lions with better talent than the 2019 Lions. The 2019 Lions. Okay, yep, so okay. the first week they played the Cardinals and Kyler Murray. And we tied. They tied. Now, they tied despite having over 100 more yards than their opponent. And they tied in a game where they really should have won that game. <laughs> really? We were okay, by 18 in the fourth. If you watched that game, you understand why. Yes, but it was yes. tied. 27 Oh my gosh, I don't know how okay. that happened. The next two weeks, they win. They start 2-0-1. 2-0-1, They're one, undefeated baby. at we this point. Killing right? the game. They beat the Eagles. Playoff They made team. the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And they beat the Chargers. Yep, I was 27, at that game. 27-24 and 13-10. Yep. The next week, they... Outgain the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. I'm loving it, dog. And lose 34 30 mm -hmm. in a game where One they, stop. again, Sit. very easily should have won that game. One play there away. There was a dog. weird fumble call at the end of the game, I think. It was, yeah. Yep. That happened that 
it sh- it shouldn't have. It was we a classic line. Said loss. they did, but regardless, win or loss, they lost to the Chiefs by a one less than one score. It was it was four points. Okay? One play, less than dog. One, touchdown. one play. It- they go into their bye week two one and one. Yeah. They yeah. then play the Packers. <clears throat> they lose 23-22 in Lambeau Field on Monday Don't night. That is the game where Trey Flowers had those two relax. Uh, hands to the face penalties that you can go back and watch that game and there clearly were bad calls. So Terrible in calls. two games in a row, they basically got screwed by the refs. But Pretty that's much. classic Lions. So that I'm is... just going to say they lost that game. <laughs> Regardless, the Packers last Man. year made the playoffs. Right, right. Like we just discussed. Sure, yeah, did they get lucky three. a little bit with schedule? Yes, but they made the playoffs. They lost to them by one point on the road. Division yep. opponent, fair enough. Okay? And they lost to the Vikings, 42-30. That was, they beat the Giants. That was So the with Matthew the Stafford, downfall. they were 3-4-1. and one. Yep. They lost to the Chiefs, who won the Super Bowl, the Eagles, who won the NFC East, the Packers, who won the NFC North, the Vikings, who finished second in the NFC North and beat the Saints, and they lost to the Raiders and Giants. Or no, they beat the Giants. On the one-yard line. Like, all these losses were dumb, dog. Um, But that was with Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford in that run was on pace for leading the NFL in yards and touchdown passes with 36 touchdown passers or 38 touchdown passes, yep. and over 5,000 yards. Yep. In those games again, they last year, and you even go past, you know, how they did without Matt Stafford, right? Okay. They go on to lose to the Bears by seven without Matt Stafford. Right. They didn't win a single game without Stafford. They yep. lost to the Cowboys by eight without Stafford. Yep. They lost to Washington by three without Stafford. They lost to the Bears by four. They lost to uh, the Packers in the last game of the year by three. So they lost a lot of one-score games without their so best player. Losses, okay? This is the best regression candidate going for in a positive fashion. Okay? I like that. Are the Detroit Lions. I like that. He's speaking facts right now. He's now let's look at their now. offense, which I think is the best in this division. The offense, Ooh, like they have this. the best group of skill players by a mile in this division with Kenny Galladay, who is a top is 10 this receiver, ranking him? and Marvin like Jones, it. who is a top 40 receiver. Okay, Danny Amendola can still get it done in the slot. He's not quite as good as he used to be, but he's still good. Matt Stafford, to me, is the sixth best quarterback, okay. one spot below Aaron Rodgers. I rock with that. And rock right ahead that. of my boy Tom Brady. I got him at uh, DeAndre I Swift. Six. I also have Carryon Johnson in this grouping with him at 22 because I realize that Johnson will probably get the start at the beginning of the year. But regardless, their running back room is very good. They have Swift. Good. They added Peterson today, which yep. I think is going to add a power back experience to that running back room that AP, might help baby. a young guy like Swift. And also they have a guy like Bo Scarborough who played well in his games as well. They had a lot of, I didn't even mention this. We'll get to this with the defense, but they had a lot of injuries with their defense. Oh TJ Hawkinson, gosh, I have as a 16th best tight end. He could easily be top 10 this year in a year or two jump, but being yep, 16 just based on his that. talent alone. Okay. Decker at 26. I, I he think... just got signed long term. Good player, could get better. Okay. Uh, Ragnow, incorrectly ranked. Uh, he's actually top 10, so don't look at that. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right. I think I have right. him. It's all see, good. guys, I always rush in these. Rush in these don't, worry don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're messing, killing it, man. You got this. Don't worry about uh, it. Vitae, that is his correct ranking at 38. Okay. Uh, I think he is an upgrade from Wagner with what they had, hard, but I don't think so he's hard. quite as – I don't think he's like a upper echelon tackle by okay, any means. That's fair. But he's an that's upgrade fair. over uh, Wagner that now plays for the Packers. So right. and, and he could be better than I think. I mean, I think PFF had him ranked as like a top 20 tackle, but that's keeping in mind that he played for the Eagles – and he played guard, he played tackle, but yep. you know he has guys like Kelsey and Brooks and and Lane Johnson and and uh, what's the other guy? Peters. Jason Peters. Yep. So like it's a really good supporting offensive line. I, they apparently really like Jonah Jackson, who's their rookie guard, yes. and I think he's going to be really good for their running game. But I think they're really well balanced, and I love what Daryl Bebel was doing with Matt Stafford last year. Oh you know, gosh, running the football, play action, downfield shots, the most aggressive passing game in the NFL. Uh, Kenny Galladay led the NFL in receiving touchdowns despite mm-hmm. not having Stafford for most Tell of the them, year. Man. So they have a lot of talent on that side of the ball. I'm now, defensively, they're stronger than Jamie. they were. I still 10. have my questions, specifically with it. their pass rush. I have, 
you know, whoever their edge player is outside of Flowers is probably the weakest starter in the league. But the thing you got to realize with the Lions is that they're going to mix up. Like, I could see Collins playing linebacker, but on certain downs, I could see him playing edge rusher. I right. could see, you know, a guy like Christian Jones playing on the edge or linebacker. Yes. Yes. Similarly to how Collins will be utilized with Patricia. Um, I could see Trey Flowers playing inside as a rusher or outside. I could see them throwing Williams in there on base personnel yep. packages yep. Nick Williams, uh, in man. the interior. He was good you know, Deshaun year. Hand, I think, is going to be their main pass rushing interior guy. They'll probably take Shelton off the field and throw Flowers on the D-line inside because that's where he's more effective, just knowing him from his Patriot days, and probably mm -hmm. bringing in one of their – slicker young edge guys like maybe the other Akora brother Julian, or baby. Christian Jones or Moment. Jamie Collins. Uh, their safety position is solid behind just their starters who Jerron Harmon finally gets an opportunity to play every down, which I'm very excited about. Tracy Walker is really, really good and has high upside. Um, even Man, past I, top love, 10. I love the love that he's given Tracy right here, y'all. Don't sleep on Tracy. I'm telling you, man, I've watched so much of this guy from last year. The guy just knows where to be. He gets there. He's his. I don't understand. He just looks like a veteran out there. He's so smart as a player. He's not perfect. He's got things to work on. But you can put him in any kind of situation. And trust me, he can handle it. He can handle it. And he's as he continues to improve, he might, like he says, he's probably our best secondary player heading in this next year. And he's super young. Tracy Walker is a heck of a player, man. Heck of a talent. I love that. Ten. He's like their version of Patrick Chung. Desmond Trufant, I think, is going to succeed in this system. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Okuda's he's had a little bit over, of a rougher camp, but I think he's going to show through with just his pure talent eventually. And Justin Coleman, I'm very high on. I think now that just, okay, my bad. It just speaks to the depth though. I mean, think about it. He's not even listing Amani here and think of how good Amani could be. Look at the depth, man. And Justin Coleman, I like that. He's at seven two. He's very versatile. He had a little bit of a down year last year, mm -hmm. but I think he'll bounce back this year because they're going to have more pressure. And I really, really hope that Matt Patricia just blitzes more. Yes. I hope he's more aggressive. Yes. I hope that Maybe. the plan for him was to bring in these corners, draft Okuda high, see what Belichick was doing, and then copy it, right? Um, that's what, that's what and they copy it with his own flair. Because I think Patricia always did a good job in New England with playing to his strengths. Right. But the one flaw I will always say about him is he was far too conservative. Very conservative. Uh, and I want him to facts. get a little bit more aggressive. You got to keep in mind, everybody that's ripping apart Patricia, this is the guy that came up with the scheme that dismantled Sean McVay's offense. Mm -hmm. So he must be decent at this Don't remember job. that? He also did a fairly good job in 2018 with this defense where they were ranked in the top 15. So if they don't have their... Y'all their... remember when they made the blueprint to beat the Rams? I think that's what he's talking about. Y'all remember that? That was 2018. We made that blueprint. We showed them how to win the Super Bowl, man. That's what he's talking about here. Heck, we, we showed this team against the Chiefs. And their secondary. Zero passing touchdowns. And now touchdowns. they no longer have a guy like uh, Rashawn Melvin who's yes. being taken advantage every snap. Yes. They Speaking replace facts, him with Desmond man. Trufon or Okuda. They should just be better across the board on, in the secondary. And I know that they always also like uh, their other young corner. I think his name's like... Um, I don't even know. Don't even try it. Don't try it. I think that he's taller. <laughs> yeah, don't um, try it. Lions fans will know. But, yeah, yeah. And then Will you. Harris at safety. You. So they have versatile DBs. They have depth at DB, and which Curtis, I really man. like. They have also Daryl Roberts at cornerback. I feel like I'm watching myself. I they brought this. in guys like Reggie Raglan at linebacker. Yep. So I really like the moves they've made to add depth to all pieces in all areas. They brought in a top 10 linebacker. They brought in a top 20 free safety. You know, they drafted a young, promising corner and brought in another top 30 corner. Mm -hmm. So they've gotten a lot better talent-wise defensively, which I think ultimately will mean that they will be on the field much better because they now have more pieces, not all of them, but more pieces to execute this scheme at an elite level. So I yep. don't think they're going to be an elite defense, but they won't be like the 30th best like no, last we're year. We're 19th. We'll be fine. We can win, like the, we can win the year, division. Right? They're going to be better. They're going to be more mediocre. And offense. that's good enough when you have an offense that could be top 10, top 5. Uh, especially if... Now, now, he's saying team ranks offense 10, defense 19. I don't exactly know if, he go, if he's going by yards or points. I'm assuming he's going by yards. We know people should go by yards here. So I'm thinking that's what he's saying here. Um, we know Matt Patricia is going to give up yards too, right? That's the whole bend don't break thing. So 19th and yards a lot wouldn't be bad at all. Honestly, just how Patricia does things, that wouldn't be bad at all. So I'm not exactly, maybe he'll say in a second. We'll see. 
if they're able to run the ball the way that they want to. Yes. So the Lions are the team that I think is going to win the division because Smart they team. have just historic numbers in terms of all these numbers are adding up to they can't be worse. Injuries, <laughs> yes. fumble luck. Yo, that's not good, man. No, I, I see what he's saying. They can't be worse. Dang, dog. Okay. Uh, you know, close game losses and win yes. record. Their injuries. Matt Stafford. They're, I really like that they have a... I like their offensive scheme. I like their defensive scheme. This is a division that can be taken advantage of because I think the Packers and the Vikings are vulnerable and I yep. don't think the Bears are very good. So that's why I'm picking the Lions. It might be a crazy prediction. No, it's it not crazy. Out there, it might be. You might make fun of me for it. No, but understand no, why I'm doing it because I see the path to why it could it. happen. And honestly, I would not be surprised if Matthew Stafford is the best player in this division in 2020. I would Ooh. not be surprised because last year he was outperforming Aaron Rodgers. You have to do it. He was. Come on, man. It's as simple as that. He was performing he was? at the level as Russell Wilson of Lamar Jackson. And of a Patrick Mahomes. Yes, that's he was. the Thank area he was in. Thank Let's go you. back and watch those games. Sorry. So just... if he can come back and play that way, this team has a better opportunity to win this division than many people think. Yep. So Thanks. I got the Lions first. I love it. Now, what's their record? Okay. I have the Lions finishing nine and seven. Okay. I almost said ten and six. It's going to be nine and seven or ten and six. I don't care what the record is. I think their ceiling the is eleven and five, but I okay. think. There's going to be one division this year that you can win at nine games, at nine wins. And I think it's going to be the NFC North. I like that. So I have the, I like the Lions going nine and seven that. and winning the division. Tight. They could go 10 and six. Um, I think their floor is six and 10. Maybe, you know, their defense doesn't come through. They're, they have some injuries again. They have their classic Lions luck. It would that have certainly could happen. Yeah. I wouldn't, you know, be shocked. But their ceiling is a team that could be the next 49ers. Maybe they don't go to the Super Bowl, right. but they could be a team that just burst through and nobody saw it coming except for me. Remember, hey, hey, and I me. was the one who picked the 49ers to win the NFC West last oh. year and to go pretty far. So you're, you're right. I have that right. similar feeling no, about right, the Lions. Right. Not quite as good of a feeling, not, but I have a I similar not. feeling. So that's, the Lions are kind of like my new it, man. And that's why I'll be rooting for them this year. Awesome. And that's why I feel strongly about them winning the division. Um, I hope they do because I want to see the Lions be successful. Me too. But, you know, like I said about the Packers, I also want to see Aaron Rodgers be successful. Uh, and, you know, I no. really love Kirk Cousins as well. No, we don't. So, no, we don't. <laughs> I, I like the teams that, in this division. Guy. It's just looking at them objectively. I think the Lions are the most well-balanced. And uh, I, I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to do it for the first time, I think. So that that would be pretty I love awesome. It. I love it. And what weirder of a year than 2020? Clap it up right? for our guy. So Come on, man. Nicholas says Bears 10 and 6, Vikings 9 and 7, Packers 8 and 8 and Viking or Lions 6 and 10. Nicholas, what are you Durkant has the Lions 10 and 6. I'm I'm very shocked that Durkant and I agree on this. All right, he has Lions 10 That's and like 6, and Packers 8 and 8, Vikings 6 and 10 and Bears and 5 and 11. I also yeah. want to give a shout out to uh, a creator on YouTube Dose of Dion, who does Detroit Lions content. Some of you Lions fans I may know who he is. Appreciate you. He's a great creator. If you're a Lions fan and you follow me or subscribe to me and you don't follow him, shout out to him. I'm trying to have him on my channel at least a couple times. I think I'm going to be on his channel a couple times. Yes. Uh, yes. We we've become kind of like internet communicators. Maybe not friends yet, but communicators. So <laughs> shout out to him. He's a good guy. Oh, I watch his videos. Quite I'll a bit be because After I've been following the be Lions friends. because I've had this hot take and I want to check in on it. So, yeah, I mean, go check him out. I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to stick around for a couple more minutes and oh, then man. I'm going to go do my fans. Shout out to Bob, my viewers. So, man. Jeremy says 10 I and appreciate six. you. I appreciate you. Yes, we will get you on a show and I'll be on your show for sure, man. We got to talk it up. We got we to, gotta, we gotta, I don't know what I'm doing here, but this was great. This is beautiful. I felt like I was watching one of my videos back and that's what's amazing about it. See? We have we have a similar vision. We see similar things. I like I like what you're doing here, man. I could vibe with that. I felt like I was just sitting, man. I felt like I was on an ocean. I don't know what I'm talking about, but that was great. That was a heck of a video. You guys should definitely go check out Bottom Line View. He does all NFL, so he's 
he's all over, man. He does everything. So if you want any kind of NFL talk, obviously he's a guy to check out because he's he just does his thing, man. He does it at a high level too. But this was great. I had to check it out. So I do appreciate it, Sean. That was awesome. That was really awesome. I, I really do appreciate that. And um, yeah, man, I'm going to leave it here though. So if you guys want to check out the rest of it, you definitely can. Um, and I'm going to end it here. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you, Brad, for watching. And I'm look at all these cool people. Look at all these cool Hall of Fame, All Pro, and patrons. You guys are so awesome. Look how interesting. That's an interesting name. I've never seen one like that. I'm not saying that one out loud. We got some cool stuff here, man. I appreciate all of you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys want to be part of this? Click the join button. I appreciate you guys. Man, you guys are cool, man. I see you. Oh, I see you. <laughs> You're not sneak. I see you down there, my boy.